advice on how to create successful podcasts. Talk tips from the podcast show in London 2023. This talk that I went to was by the Podcast Academy and it was what does excellence in audio sound like? I thought this was going to be more about show structure. It was not. It was more an opinion piece. They talked about great shows that they loved and why they love them. I'm not going to go into that because it's not relevant to your podcast, right? But uh, I'll tell you the key things that the panel all thought were instrumental in having a successful podcast. The first one is trailer. Uh, Ariel Nessenblatt, always big. She's got a podcast about podcast trailers. But she makes a good point. If you can't sell your show in 90 seconds to two minutes, then you really need to rethink the messaging and the branding of your show. Like You should be able to wrap it up really tight. So trailer is really significant. It's that little touch point that a newcomer can just listen to 90 seconds and they can make their mind up whether it's for them or not and pique their interest further into your podcast. So trailer. The next one was host. Now, I'm big on this as well. I think the host is the anchor of the show. The host is a thing that doesn't change week in, week, doesn't change week, in week out. Um, so make sure your host is good, personable, meets your brand, and, you know, charismatic. They need to own that space. They don't need to be outgoing and flamboyant, but they need to be them. They're, they're the anchor. The third thing that was raised was audio quality. They made a great point that there aren't many good podcasts, great podcasts or, you know, Podcast Academy award winners that have bad audio. We can tolerate a fair amount of um, in the wild audio or sync sound, but overall the audio quality needs to be pretty high. And finally, the uh, never judge a book by its cover theme is cover art, right? And this is a good point that people get a you know a stamp size opportunity to see your brand. And depending on your show title, that is what they're going to make their mind up to click through. They're going to choose to touch that cover art. So make sure that cover art is relevant to your podcast and as striking and imposing and enticing as it can be for your brand. I have to caveat that. Like not all podcast covers need to be bright orange, right? So that was that. And then to wrap up, they gave four tips. Here are those four tips to help you create an award-winning podcast. Just get started. Mm. I did a video reviewing this. Uh, Just get started is a bit ambiguous, but I get what they mean. Just start the process of learning to create. Maybe don't just pick up a microphone and and start waffling. Have a bit of an idea about what you want to achieve. The second thing was commit to a year. Minimum. If you're going to create content, commit to a year. Give yourself that time to grow and engage and learn that craft. Uh, The next tip was to start small. Like It doesn't have to be a three-hour Joe Rogan. It doesn't have to be a serial invested to give his journalism piece. It doesn't have to be a huge audio documentary with loads of sound design. Just start small and build that audience up and build your skills bit by bit. And the final piece of advice, and I love this piece of advice, is build the marketing into your creative process. Don't make something and then try and market it at the end. The whole process from idea to ear, you need to be thinking about how you're going to engage and share this with people and what the marketing is going to look like. So that was the Podcast Academy's advice on how to create successful podcasts. 